astronomers find themselves in a real quandary. While the James Webb Telescope reveals one cosmic secret after another, it simultaneously shows the experts that they have been on the wrong track for decades. But how do you deal with discoveries that seem impossible at first, with structures that are so unusual that they contradict conventional cosmology? Join U.S. on this cosmic journey, how the James Webb Telescope revolutionized cosmology in just two months. Currently, there is often talk that Webb has overturned everything we thought we knew about the universe and the Big Bang. But the bottom line is that the truth is much more nuanced and therefore much more exciting. Max Planck once said, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Whether the German physicist already had a view of things in mind at the time that was specifically designed for infrared astronomy is, however, uncertain. What is certain, however, is that the James Webb Telescope has fundamentally changed our view of the universe. In theory, the $10 billion device could detect the heat of a bumblebee on the surface of the moon from Earth. In practice, Webb has already identified a number of mysterious structures in the vastness of space that simply don't fit with our time-honored cosmological models. But how do you deal with discoveries that simply don't make sense on paper? Discoveries that have the potential to shake the entire field of cosmology to its foundations? These are questions that the experts inevitably had to ask themselves last year after Webb's near-infrared camera NEIR cam took a close look at a section of the sky near the Big Dipper. Experts discovered six reddish points of light in the images, which turned out to be a mystery. Based on the redshift, the scientists from Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne determined that the light took more than 13 billion years before it reached our field of vision on Earth. It therefore originated from objects that existed 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Furthermore, the characteristics of the points of light suggested the urgent conclusion that these were early galaxies, namely galaxies that should not exist in this form at all. In principle, researchers would have expected only tiny baby galaxies in this early period of the cosmos. No wonder after all, according to our current knowledge, there was not enough normal matter back then to form galaxies the size of our Milky Way today. At least, that's the theory. But reality should paint a somewhat different picture. In fact, all six early galaxies contain more than 10 billion solar masses of stars. One of them could even have a stellar mass of more than 100 billion solar masses. To explain the presence of such massive structures at this early time, either the matter density in the young universe must have been two to five times greater than the cosmological models predict, or the galaxies must have been born in a way that is completely unknown to us. In view of this, the researchers unsurprisingly described the discovery as a real problem for science. In fact, this problem should only be further deepened in the context of another discovery. Has Webb blown up cosmology? After the astronomers had tracked down the astonishingly massive galaxies, they initially thought they had made a mistake. However, this suspicion was not confirmed in the course of subsequent analyzes. On the contrary, the galaxy, which was added to the star maps a few weeks ago, underlines the fact that researchers should be prepared for further impossible discoveries in the future. Christened with the scientific name Jade's GSZ-14-0, this group of stars existed 290 million years after the birth of the cosmos. In the end, however, the structure not only became the oldest known galaxy ever, but also another mystery. For although the galaxy already existed at a time when, according to our understanding, the first stars had only just been formed, it was already incomparably luminous. The scientists' analyzes have shown that the galactic object of desire already comprised several hundred million solar masses of stars. This raises the question of how this was even possible. How could such a massive galaxy form in just 290 million years? In fact, the researchers assumed that the collection of stars took around 100 million years to grow to its observed dimensions. The emission lines of oxygen detected in the spectrum indicate that several very massive generations of stars had already gone through their life cycle before astronomers observed this galaxy. But what do these puzzling discoveries mean for the big picture? Or, to put it another way, if we have already been wrong about the structure formation processes in the universe, could we not also have been wrong about the formation of the cosmos itself? Basically, the scientific consensus is that the universe was born in the Big Bang. In other words, around 13.8 billion years ago, space, time, and matter emerged from an original singularity. Over time, the Big Bang theory has withstood a series of observational tests, and it's also capable of explaining a large number of cosmological characteristics. These include, in particular, the redshift of light from distant galaxies, the presence of cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements, 
and the evolution of galaxies and larger structures. And although the Big Bang theory cannot say with absolute certainty which galaxies will develop where, it can indicate probabilities. With this in mind, experts can roughly estimate how many small, medium, and large galaxies should appear in a given volume at a given time in the universe. Until the launch of the James Webb Telescope, however, we had no direct observational access to the earliest stages of galactic evolution. But now we are smarter, and the galaxies discovered by Webb seem to make a mockery of our understanding of the Big Bang and galaxy evolution in the early universe. Advocates of the Big Bang theory emphasize, however, that the matter is by no means as clear-cut as it seems at first glance. According to them, the headlines proclaiming the end of the Big Bang ignore a crucial detail. Astronomers estimate the redshift, which gives the distance and therefore the age of galaxies, using a technique called photometry, which is incredibly uncertain. So, before conventional cosmology is completely broken, more precise measurements of redshifts and the ages derived from them would be needed. Farewell to the Big Bang. And so it is that many web discoveries have subsequently turned out to be much less spectacular. For example, there are the unusually massive galaxies detected in 2022, which, with a redshift of over 16, were thought to have existed 200 to 250 million years after the Big Bang. A few months and a series of more precise measurements later, however, the record-breaking structures turned into completely normal galaxies. In detail, the redshift of one structure was corrected downwards to 4.9, which means nothing other than that the galaxy's age increased from 240 million years to well over a billion years. This is therefore more than enough time to explain their size and shape using the standard Big Bang theory. But what about the other discoveries? Did the new galactic record holder, Jade's GSZ-14-0, actually also form significantly later than the first data set suggest? Well, not really, because the corresponding redshift of 14.32 should actually be confirmed this time. Does this mean that the Big Bang theory has had its day after all? Well, that depends first and foremost on which expert you ask. In principle, some researchers are of the opinion that the Big Bang was actually a big bounce. According to this model, the universe is subject to an eternal cycle of decline and birth. Although some experts also have their problems with the name of the one universe, according to them, it's conceivable that the majority of the cosmos has been eternally expanding in an inflationary manner since its birth. This process would only come to a standstill within bubble-shaped sub-areas, in which a multitude of sub-universes form. Each cosmic world could contain completely different values of the natural constants and thus also different physical laws. However, if Nikodem Poplowski has his way, we are all inside a black hole. The researcher from the University of New Haven is convinced that a kind of primordial seed once ripened in the heart of one of these mass monsters, which ultimately burst open and paved the way for the unfolding of our cosmos. Conversely, black holes would therefore embody natural gates that connect two universes, with the restriction that the cosmic gate can only be passed through from one side. The bottom line is that the majority of astronomers continue to adhere to the established ideas. It's quite possible that the existence of galaxies such as Jade's GSZ-14-0 can be explained within the framework of the Big Bang theory without having to make far-reaching changes. For example, large black holes could have formed before these galaxies and triggered bright bursts of star formation with their incomparable gravitational force. Alternatively, supernova feedback and other mechanisms are suspected to have fueled the unexpectedly high star production of early galaxies. But regardless of whether it was the Big Bang, the Big Bounce, or the Multiverse, ultimately, none of these models are able to answer the questions of before and why. In other words, what caused something to emerge from nothing 13.8 billion years ago? Was there a trigger, or was it mere coincidence? And what happened before that? Stephen Hawking once said that time itself only began with the Big Bang, which is why dealing with the before makes no sense at all. Consequently, the Big Bang embodies an event that could not have been caused by anything or anyone. The laws of nature themselves would show us that the cosmos is still an enigma. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content, until next time, keep gazing at the stars, this is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.